They say it takes three years to learn the TT Mountain course. The dedication it takes to understand and race this circuit is simply phenomenal. So, out of all those sectors, every straight and every inch of those 37 and three quarter miles, how do you pick your favorite part? Quite a few people have asked me about the favorite part of the course. I've been asked that a million times and... The easy answer is obviously to say the whole, oh, the whole thing is my favorite. If I drive a lap, I'm always saying, oh, this bit I love, this bit I love, this bit I love. I mean, it's all mega, isn't it? It's all scary, it's all fast, it's all amazing. It's just... I get asked it quite a lot, what's the favorite part of the course? Really easy answer. Start line to finish line. <laughs> of the six sectors, 219 twists and turns make up the Isle of Man TT course. Narrowing it down to one might be a challenge. So what really makes these riders come back year after year after year? Is there anything else that even comes close? Does it even compare? No, there's no, you can't, well, how can you? How can you compare riding around here to any other track you're ever gonna ride in the world? There's no real comparison, is there really? You cannot compare this circuit to anywhere else in the world, not even a tiny little bit. There just isn't. It's, it's, I actually think it's indescribable, and, and the experience of Isle of Man TT is indescribable. You cannot explain what it's all about unless you've been, seen it, watched it, felt it. I've done World Championship. Been all over the world, you know, I've been Australia, South Africa, all through Europe racing, and there is never, and never has been, never will be anything to compare it to. I've been to Laguna Seca, stood at the corkscrew, they've got the corkscrew, but that's about it. You go to Dundrod, they've got Deer's Leap, you know, but that's about it. The closest you probably got is maybe the Southern 100, the North West 200, and a couple of BSB tracks put together, but you can never, like you say, you can never compare that because it's just not the TT. They're all different. I don't compare any of them uh, the same, I think. The good thing for me is, so far, we've been fast at them all. So if you can be fast at them all, you can be fast here, but here requires more time. There's no easy way to describe the TT. It's just so, other than saying it's totally standout different than anything you could have possibly even thought about riding around. Everything is different. It may as well be a different spot altogether, because the only similarity, you got two wheels and an engine. Like, other than that, it's, yeah, worlds apart. There is no comparison here. This course is 37 and three quarter miles long. This is a street circuit. This is racing at 200 miles an hour on closed public roads. The contrast between this and any other race, monumental. The only real comparison we should be making is how anything compares to that very first lap. That first lap's phenomenal. It's, it's just so much going on and it's all coming at you and the, your, your brain's just frazzled but... Everything just becomes like a tunnel if you're like in, everything just feels like a blur. So it took me actually a few laps to feel my way into it. I was like this feels really weird but... but when I rolled around for the first time it was all a bit surreal really. It was definitely a different experience to what I had imagined but it was like that kind of unreal experience as well. It's like a shouldn't be a loud experience if you know what I mean. It's magical as well because it's like, for me, like I say, it was my life's dream and then to be able to do your life's dream, it's like, oh yeah, oh my God, I'm in heaven. This is just amazing, so. I think I followed Milky around my first time here. I won an hour one in 2011. I remember going through Kurt Michael. Kurt Michael, I, I remember with Bray Hill, obviously it was all pretty fast and phonetic and stuff. And... I always remember going into Kurt Michael the most of my first lap. Kurt Michael Village. I grew up there and you know, like the back of my hand, so. Kurt Michael was the one place that really stuck in my mind because that was, that was the one place that I really thought, oh my God, this is just phenomenal. Normally, like I say, you'd only ever go through at 30 miles an hour. And I remember thinking, going through, thinking, Jesus, I'm, I'm able to do this legally without the police chasing me or... It must be wild on a superbike. You know? <laughs> the fast nature of this course is almost indescribable. And when nature takes over, not everyone has the privilege of living the dream. My first ever lap, I remember it like yesterday, you know, it was miserable. 
I always like to say it's four seasons in one lap. So it was wet, damp, dry, sunny, windy, and foggy up mountain. I mean, it was just everything rolled into one that lap. It was a miserable week. The sheer scale of the mountain course can throw up problems at every turn. Some things are just out of our control. If there's one thing you do want to have control of, it's a moment. That seat of your pants, heart in your mouth moment. That moment you definitely don't want to have on your first time out. Yeah, I remember it vividly. And I distinctly remember coming into the Ramsey area, there's a little jump, well, it's quite, quite a big jump actually at speed, it's a Milntown jump. And I remember thinking, right, nice and tidy through here, please, you know, and then I got an almighty tank slapper. It was a little message, don't be making any errors here, you know, messing up. So, didn't do that again. Every rider has a moment. With over 200 corners to navigate, it's impossible not to. And if the riders can't pick a favorite part of the course, then they can almost certainly pick one that isn't. Uh, there's quite a lot of bits, really. Uh, I hate the bit going over wagon and horses jump. Is it after Crosby that I call it wagon and horses? Don't like that bit. I used to hold it flat over Crosby jump every lap for my first year and my second year. And I always wondered why everybody rolled off a little bit over there and didn't do a massive jump. Every lap, sometimes the bike can get a bit nervous or talking, you're going so fast, I'm not. It like jumped and then skipped, yeah, way more sideways than you'd like to be at 200 mile an hour. And uh, that, that shit me up. So, <laughs> so basically, uh, I roll off now. <laughs> I wouldn't say scare me, but I'd say there's parts of the track that I struggle with a little bit. There are bits that stand out that I'm, I don't like. <laughs> I always struggle with the run from end of the crunk of body. I don't really like the drop down from there. I can never seem to get it right. Bottom of the garrows is always a ooh, moment. And the top, actually. The Ginger Alter Ramsey does, I would say. This year, Sulby Straight scared me more than anything. Just how bumpy that's got, and you're like trying to hold a bike flat out at 200 mile an hour and the thing's going lock to lock and you're just trying to hang on to it like a flag, which is a pretty mad experience. <laughs> Fast parts, the scary parts, the edge of your seat parts, they all make up what this circuit is. But if you had one wish, what would you change about it? I love it all. Like, I wouldn't want to change any of it. So, like, it's hard to say. Over the mountain, I, I do love over the, going over the mountain. It's been smooth and fast and flowing. But then if someone said they could smooth out Ginger Alter Ramsey, I wouldn't want them to, to make it smooth and fast and flowing. Like, I, I like it being hard and bumpy. And then I like the first sector being really fast with some like big ball corners. And If you were to make a circuit now, it would be the perfect circuit to make because you've got a fast bit to start with from the grandstand to Balacrane that's just completely insane and fast and then you've got like the Glen Helen section which is again completely different the dynamic again where it's dark, it's dank, it's really narrow and nagery and then you get up onto Kronkavadi it's like bing, it's just like an open different planet and then you get through the Kurt Michael like say through the village it's like poof, poof, poof. the real fast bit then through the Ramsey and bumpy and then you get to the mountain and it's just all open and there's just so much going, it's so complex, there's so much going on the whole course is just so so sensational. That's the thing. The whole thing is just amazing. It's just the thing that makes it special is that there's so many different sections that are completely different styles, and you have to ride them completely different. So that's what I love about it. I love it all. I don't know. It's hard to choose. The Iron Man TT. You go in Bray Hill. You go in. Quarry Bends, you're going Balatra, you're going to climb over the mountain, you're going along the veranda through the bungalow, down past Craig, you know, all these different places. It's just, again, obviously it's got 3,700 courts to choose from, but you know, again, that's what makes the Isle of Man TT what the Isle of Man TT is. You only get one chance one shot at this extraordinary circuit every year. This is real road racing. This is racing against the clock. This is racing on your own. Every entry, every apex, and every exit 
of these 219 corners is all yours. So when it comes to picking your favourite part of the course, where would you even begin? If I, if I really got pushed and I had to choose somewhere, Kurt Michael for me. Racing through the village at 175 mile an hour feels like you're not allowed to do it. Probably shouldn't be allowed to do it, which means I like it. <laughs> for some reason, I love going from Governor's Bridge all the way down Braille. And I think it's because a watch there all the time and I can envisage what it looks like when I'm actually watching. I love me fast corners. I love fast, real fast corners and stuff. Balagari and, you know, ghostly and stuff like that, and really mega corners. But for me, Star at Stella Maris, a little right-hander just before the hairpin. Yeah, the right-hander at Stella Maris now is lovely. You know what I mean? That's really nice as you go from there. It changes every year for me. I could say, oh, Quarry Bends is quite a thrill, I like that. And then the next year it might be the 33rd or... My own corner, McGuinness is my favourite corner, sort of a left, right, left. And you walk, if you draw through it, you go, why is weird? Why have you chose that? Why don't you choose, like, veranda or... I've always loved from Ramsey Hairpin up to the... As soon as I hit the gooseneck, I love coming over the gooseneck and flying up the mountain and seeing that like, the road just it opens up. Specifically, the mountain is really, really nice to ride. It's probably my favourite section of the course. The mountain section. Wide open corners and flat out straights. What's not to love? But it's not just one section, one corner, one jump, or one straight. It's the whole course that makes it. This is Dreamland, a racer's paradise, the ultimate theme park for man and machine. Well, isn't it really? It's like some sort of park that doesn't exist in the world, because there's nowhere else in the world you can get let loose on a motorbike doing 200 miles an hour. It's just, I mean, what, who, who made it up? Who started it? Who were the dudes sat around the table in 1907 going, oh, no, no, no. You know, I'll probably smoke in the fire for something. We'll have a race around the island, man. Like, do you realise what you've just done, you knob? Ruined everybody's life for me. Ruined you. <laughs> this is live TT coverage on TT Plus. The only place for breathtaking, exhilarating, edge of your seat action. The only place for heroes record breakers and history makers. The only place for unmissable moments and speed like no other. Absolutely incredible. Dean Harrison through course lead. Always a man on a mission. We're on for a race, folks. Oh, Michael Dunlop. Then a Tom Virgil have 11 victories. David Todd leads and Glenn Helen doing the business. This is the Isle of Man TT races. Every qualifying and every race, live and on demand. Get your TT Plus Live Pass today and secure your place at TT 2023.